modeling and simulation, you have the benefit of being able to reduce the number of experiments, which can be incredibly uh, expensive, especially at this facility, sometimes on the billions of dollars prototyping a new reactor. Reducing the experiments, but also increasing the quality of experiments. With modeling and simulation, we can model simulate a lot of the physics ahead of time. If you don't have it perfectly, if you can get the trends correctly, you can optimize an experiment where, what, and when to measure things. Uh, do sensitivity analysis, there's no point in measuring parameters that don't change you know, with other parameter changes. So the benefit of modeling simulation has been recognized in many fields and we see uh, modeling and simulation budgets, not just for nuclear, but for other areas, skyrocketing. The Moose framework is the multi-physics object-oriented simulation environment, and it's really aimed at scientists and engineers to help them couple um, complicated physics in a simple manner. It gives them the tools to build up their simulations without having to worry about the complexities of computer science and helps them develop applications at a more rapid pace. For the researcher, this means that they're able to focus on their problems and their physics rather than on trying to develop a framework to work on multiple systems and in parallel. And it speeds up their development process and allows them to develop applications in a much more rapid and um, extendable way and helps them collaborate. Our reactor physics tool um, is called Mammoth. Mammoth has parts. It has a, um, the neutronic solver we call Rattlesnake. It has a fuel performance solver, predicts what's going on in the fuel, it's called Bison. Um, we have a thermal hydraulics, what's going on with flow through the reactor uh, package called Relapse 7. Those all coexist in Mammoth. Mammoth is a finite element code. All these tools are finite element codes. So they have a spatial grid that kind of represents or approximates reality. Because they all share the same spatial grid and because they coexist inside of one code, the information out of one sol solution is available to the other solution. So they really, like reality, they're really talking to each other. When something changes in temperature distribution, the reactor physics part knows that this is getting hot. When something happens in, in the reactor and it causes heat uh, or burn up, the fuel's performance code knows what's going on inside the fuel. Relapse 7's uh, design basis is to take advantage of the last 30 years in software design, numerical methods, and physical flow models. For the flow model, we're using what's called a seven equation model, which defines pressures in both the liquid and vapor phases, where the previous efforts used a single pressure for both of those phases. The seven equation is more physical, but is yet to be validated. We're using modern numerical techniques so we can take very large time steps. Um, the previous efforts, the transients were short duration, now we're doing long duration transients, such as the Fukushima scenario, and allowing the code to be run continuously for a full life of the fuel. So our two main nuclear material applications are the Marmot code on the mesoscale, which is a low length scale, uh, and the Bison uh, code, which is an engineering scale fuel performance code. So the two applications model different uh, physics on different length scales. MARMIT allows us to look at the microstructure and the microstructure evolution of nuclear materials such as fuels and structural materials. And we use the insight from these lower length scale simulations uh, to inform our engineering scale code, which uh, operates at the pin level. MOOSE, uh, in my very simple view, is a partial differential equation solver. It's a way for me to solve a physical equation. So if I have a physics-based equation, I can solve it in Moose using a finite element approach. And that's really important to me because it's a way to couple physics together. So I want to couple together, say, seismic simulations with flooding simulations. I can do that within the Moose framework. So the Moose framework is very powerful in that it allows you to couple physics together and it allows you to quantify what, is it, what are the impact of multiple physics on nuclear facilities and nuclear power plants. The near term, the work we're doing to support the transient test reactor will be used by them. They are going to take our work, we're going to work with them, kind of merge it into place so they will use it for operations. Uh, we hope to uh, also deploy with the, here with the advanced test reactor in, in, in a different manner to support some of the stuff we're doing. Everything is multi-physics, everything that we do you can, do, you can do certain react calculations without Moose tools. 
but when you couple them together, which is what Moose really does, when you couple together the reactor part, the neutronics, and the power production inside of fuel, and the flow inside of, uh, between uh, uh, reactor elements, all those work together uh, in the core and in experiments and uh, treat, uh, treat is, is especially challenging because all this stuff happens in a very quick time. What we're doing is applying in a, a very unique way all these tools to solve problems. Reality is coupled. Reality is things working together. We rarely model that because it's difficult, but that's what Moose is doing now. It's giving us the ability to pull together very complex problems and solve them um, at one time. Modeling simulation has become an integral part of research and development. Modeling simulation can be used to assist the research and development and improve experimental efforts. In fact, we're going to develop or construct a building here in town devoted to computational science. Uh, its main goal will be to continue developing these nuclear applications for modeling simulation of nuclear systems, but also to integrate those efforts in with the considerable experimental capabilities we have at the INO, such as ATR, TREAT, and the Materials Fuels Complex.